Hey everybody. So those of you who know me may know that I have an ongoing relationship with Dollar Tree and it is a relationship that just won't stop. So I got a wild hair and I thought I might try to make a squirrel feeder and yeah, I'm gonna take you through the process. Now my table is an absolute disaster, so please forgive that, but I will take you through what I have here. Um, so I found lately they had these doll house uh, fashion doll pieces of furniture uh, for the patio. We've got a little umbrella and a little uh, deck table with some chairs. Hopefully your mind is as warped as mine and you may already be able to figure out where I'm going with it. But other things I got, uh, there were these little bags of whole raw almonds that I'm going to gift the squirrels. They're gonna love it. We've got this plant hanger. We have this fine metal hanging bracket that I'm gonna use. And then there's also this, which I already took the tag off, but it's essentially just a thing you put underneath of plants so that they don't leak everywhere, um, same as this. So, gonna get started. All right, uh, the first portion of this is gonna be figuring all of this out. It can't imagine it's gonna be all that complicated, question mark. Here we've got one lawn chair. And honestly, for a dollar, totally worth it. Look at this, that's so cute. And then lawn chair number two. And then we've got our table. And I want this to last, so I actually have some super glue that I'm gonna be using to affix all these pieces together. got our fine pink table and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to oh it's all over me I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to the chairs so that hopefully they stick together as well and same thing to the other side and then I'm going to try and get this thing sorted out so I'm gonna do the same thing with my glue And be aware when you're doing this, uh, glue wants to go all over the place. So <laughs> now that we've got our fantastic deck situation set up, I'm actually going to poke some holes into this so that it doesn't become just a water collection. <laughs> so the clear piece that I got is actually gonna go over to try and keep all of this dry, but you know, there's no keeping anything completely dry outside, so. That is a fantastic hole. All right, now the biggest uh, logistical question is going to be figuring out how to fit my table and my chairs into here. I want to be able to use both chairs so that can be squirrel and company. Okay, so ultimately I decided to go with the chairs actually overlapping on the outside uh, because that makes a lot of sense and it seems to fit that way. So next up I am going to take and use some hot glue and I'm actually using a dual temperature gorilla hot glue gun. So I've got my hot glue gun here and the first thing I want to do is glue my table as I super glue my hands together to this base. The table actually kind of fits right around that circle at the bottom, so I kind of know where I'm shooting for here. Get some of this, get some of that. I haven't used a lot of hot glue on plastic planters before, so we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. When I put squirrel treats on there, um, they don't all automatically scatter off. There'll be something holding it in place. So next, I'm gonna be getting my chairs placed and situated. Same idea, just 
hot gluing them in place. And you know that this would be ridiculously cute. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so we've got our cute feeder portion done. Next up, gonna be putting all of this together. And I think it's gonna be just to uh, actually poke some holes and go from there. Now, the first thing I'm doing is actually measuring, quote unquote. <laughs> But I think these are roughly good spots for the chain. Oh, it's not even in the hole. There we go. Give it a little little test. Fake squirrel jostle. Head and carefully poke holes into the sides. One chain piece is connected. All right, the chain is affixed. We've got our feeder. My plan for this clear piece, I'm going to actually attach it on top here so that it helps protect the feeder from water. I'm going to pull this plastic part all the way to the top and then I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark off where I'm going to want to poke some holes. So this is a different type of plastic than the uh, this other base piece we were working with. So I don't wanna just take and immediately start trying to uh, create a hole with the knife. So what I'm gonna do is actually take the end of my hot glue gun and I'm going to use that and actually burn a hole right through this point where I made my mark. After I've gone through there, I'm gonna take my knife, gonna clean out that loose plastic a little bit. And you can see we've got a nice hole right there. Now we've got our three holes. Now that we have our holes made, I'm gonna go ahead and place this. And you'll notice too, there's on this plastic thing, there is a mark where the center is. So that makes it a little bit helpful in placing the hook right over that spot. I'm gonna line up these fancy holes I just made. And I'm actually going to be using it's tiny zip ties uh, that also came from the Dollar Tree. So while I'm holding this up, I'm gonna go ahead and gonna feed it back out through this chain part. And then pull it closed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the extra pieces off from the inside. All right, my loves, here we are. It is done may not be the most beautiful one at the ball, but certainly the most awesome. So now we're gonna go hang it up. Okay, so I'm thinking right about here. That way I can creepily observe from the window. And now we wait. All right, it's been over a day and I'm not very patient. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and urge the squirrels to investigate. I've never actually hung a feeder or anything there before, so we're gonna put some down here. All right, so I've been creeping on this squirrel feeder for a while now. So I wanted to go ahead and post this tutorial so we wouldn't be waiting indefinitely, but I will be coming back and sharing once uh, the squirrels have realized how awesome the feeder is. Thank you so much for joining me on this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you end up making something like this, please, please let me know. I would love to see it. And until then, please take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon.